up? How's it going? Going. Nice. What's going on with you? Uh, not too much. I need to get my car out. Uh, which one's your car? Uh, the I need the one up front right there. And then whose car is the black one? Uh, the the person who lives here. They're they're both blocked in by the person who lives here. This white car? Yes. This person lives there. Yeah, they're supposed to be on that side of the driveway. We're supposed to be on this side, right? Yep. This is how there's parking issues here. Okay. There's limited space here. They have conflicts with this neighbor as well. They had to pour a pad in for these guys, right? We have short parking. So when I go to knock on her door, hello, ma'am. Hi, is this your car? Yes. Can you move it, please? No. Uh, why not? I don't want to. Okay, I need to get my car out. I don't care. Boom, slams the door. Boom, boom, boom. Hello, ma'am. Can you please move your car? I'm calling the cops. Call the cops, please. And what's your name? That's where we're at. What's your name? That's where we're at. What's your name? Deputy Robinson, what's your name? Thank you. I haven't provided it. Okay. Can you provide your name, please? Do you suspect me of a crime? Listen, when an officer asks for your information, you're obligated to give it to me. If you suspect me reasonable, articulate suspicion of a crime, yes, I am obligated. Do you suspect me of a crime? Uh, no, and... Okay, well, at this point, I've told you the situation. Okay. I would appreciate it if you I could... Need, I need your driver's license, please. I don't have it. Okay. What's your name? Why do you need my name? Why are you not going to give me your name? Because are, do you suspect me of a crime? That is the Colorado law. It's if you true. suspect me reasonable, articulate suspicion that I have committed a crime, okay. am about to commit a crime, or you, did commit a crime, then I am me? obligated under Colorado statute to provide my identification. Are you give me your driver's license? Have I, do you have any suspicion that I have committed a crime here? Do you need my identification for that? I need to know who you are, sir. Okay, why? Because I'm a law enforcement officer. That's not how the law works. That's exactly how it works. So what happens is, I ask you for your identification. Yes, sir. You ask. That's fine. Okay. And then you provide it for me. If you have an obligation, I, if I have an obligation, I provide it. I do not, I believe. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I haven't committed any crime here. This is a civil issue, so I'll let you guys handle it.